Today we're going to disassemble my Nick King AM3 for deep cleaning. This is exactly the same as the Nitex AM3. And what it looks like is you put your little flat tip screwdriver in here like this and you rotate around and nothing happens. <laughs> so I will show you what has to be done. There are nuts on the backs of these and once you get it loosened, you can pull up on the nut with your fingers and rotate it and it will come right off. So we're going to get all the nuts off, then we'll get the bar off and we'll see what we got. So I'm using my six millimeter nut driver. So remove all the screws and nuts and set them in a safe place. It helps to have one hand underneath and one hand above the machine to get that job done. All right, and there we have the needle retention plate off. Here's our brake spring right there. This is the traditional way to remove needles where a brake spring is present. The goal is to avoid catching any of the needle hooks on the spring. If you do get the bar off as we have, there's an alternate and quickie way to get the needles out, and probably that's less risky to the spring, the brake spring. All right, here's how it works to get this out. What you've got is this is what's in the little groove. That hook shape thing. Yeah, the hook. But notice that there, it does have a foot on that hook. There's a foot right there on that section of this sinker. So what you've got to do is get it where that foot is disengaged. And the reason I say that is, you hear it, that sound you hear is that little tiny hook right there popping into place. So here's what we do. Lift it up so you can get a grip on the back. Now I've got it out and then I slide it forward. I say forward. The Towards yourself. Says, yeah, the manual says this is the front. So you move it toward yourself. So it's easy peasy. Now getting it back in, not so easy. It we'll takes a tool, it. but we'll do that in a minute. Right. Or an hour. Yeah. Now we remove the brake All spring. Right. All right. All I did was insert the dental tool into the end of the spring. And you see, I've got it caught on the end of the spring. Now I'll release the tension slowly. And the end of the spring goes right over this stub right here, and there's one on either end. The other bar comes off in the same manner as the first. Loosen all the hardware and set it aside carefully. The screws and the nuts used for both bars are the same. When the bar is lifted off, the bed comes apart in sections. They fasten together almost like Legos. And as we release the parts, it's obvious why it needs deep cleaning. An interesting note, we have never used an oil that would turn yellow. The machine is new old stock, used but not used a great deal by me, and oxidation is just what happens to old oils. This rod was a surprise. It retains the sinkers, but we had expected another setup and been told that it was really problematic to get a part and back together safely. That proves not to be true. And look, see a rod. The bed is now entirely apart and ready to clean. We have two companion movies to this one, one showing the cleaning process and the final movie showing reassembly.